Hello everybody, I'm Evil Rabbit. We have some new sim hardware from Moza Racing, if you haven't guessed by the title. Their new R12 direct drive base. Big thank you to Moza Racing for sending this out to me. So let's just get right into it real quick and take a look at it before we get it on the rig. So the R12 is definitely a small compact one. For size of comparison, it is in the same base size as my original R9, but it has the same collar thickness and stuff like that as, say, the R5, which is also still the smallest direct drive base I have. But for the R12, definitely very similar things in it from all the other Moza bases. Definitely going to take that sticker off. We got their new connective setup. So the one thing with the R12 that they did mention, it eliminates the Bluetooth compatibility. So it only really works with the new wheels or their V2 wheels and stuff like that. So the original wheels do not work with the R12. They eliminated the Bluetooth compatibility. But the cool thing about the backside of it, it's got the spots for the handbrake, the shifter, and everything on there. So it's going to be able to utilize all of it on here without having to run all the different wires and everything like that. So that's super cool and going to be super nice and a big thank you once again to moza racing you know holiday high quality hardware as always so let's get this thing on the rig enough talk let's get, let's rip this thing so we got the r12 mounted up on the next level chassis definitely love the smaller simplistic box like my r9 was and the r5 was the r21 is a great wheel it's a little long so if you're running triples you really gotta sit your monitors back but the r12 is definitely just a nice, tight, small, good-looking package matches the XL chassis, which is really great. I'm utilizing the plugs in the back for all my parameters for my shifter and my handbrake and stuff like that. So like I said in the beginning of the video, with them removing the Bluetooth capability, you are going to need to use newer wheels like the V2, uh, V2 wheels and some of their newer wheels. So that's one thing that uh, is different with this compared to all the other ones that have the Bluetooth connectivity that you can use the older wheels on so if you are looking to get the r12 make sure you look make sure you have one of the wheels that are compatible with uh with wire you know wire connection you know straight pin connection rather than the bluetooth compatibility so we got it all on there everything of course works perfect we're going to go full send and see how this thing drifts because well that's what you guys are here for you guys want to see it drifting not you know talking so let's go to the driving cam we are in one of our basically pro cars that i built that i never actually competed with definitely one of the coolest cars uh that i've made the rs3 drift car so we're gonna go full send first impressions of the r12 in drifting because that's what everybody wants we are on a basic wheel set up like I would have set for my R9 so we're seeing how this works and overall initially the force feedback is feels different compared to the other wheels it feels different in a good way it feels like I have a lot more feedback and a little bit stiffer wheel feel in the middle um, which is definitely quite nice oh oh Except for when you hit the grass like that. Not sure if the car setup is perfectly set up for this type of driving. This is a comp car, so it's really set up for a competition style drive, but we got this. I totally forgot to set brake lights on the wing and that high mount big wing gang. Not doing too bad. The wheel does feel super nice. It has a good amount of force feedback, which I think this may be, oh, my new favorite wheelbase for drifting because it has the ability to have a very great amount of feedback, uh, force feedback for drifting as well as racing. I'm getting a lot of good minute feels in it when I'm, you know, sideways. There's a lot of tuning ability that we're gonna have to go through and fine tune a good, whoa, that got really short. Uh, fine-tune a good wheel setting for this wheel so that's something we're going to definitely uh, look at doing and getting a good wheel settings so we are I believe at 90% of wheelbase right now 
um, and pretty much a kind of a basic setup like I do have for my R9 did. So, um, R9 did. So we are going to fine tune the settings, but overall impressions of this wheel initially, it is feeling awesome. And we have that extra, extra wall. We have that extra power compared to say, the R5 or the R9, but we don't have crazy amounts like the R21. The R21 is great, but I feel like for drifting, it's a little bit on the heavy side. Uh, I find myself turning that wheelbase down a little bit, but for racing, that wheel is amazing because of all the fine details and stuff you can get from the wheel, which is what you want in a race aspect. In drifting, you do want some fine details, but there's a lot more uh, to be said for the wheel, just the rotation and ability to rotate smoothly and stuff like that and not be super steppy. Um, I am noticing a little bit of step rotation, but that is probably just the settings that I need to dial in. So we're going to try and dial in a very smooth wheel setting in a later episode. Can't thank Moza Racing enough for being a continued supporter of the channel and bringing out all this amazing gear at a very, very reasonable pricing. Kick this up here. Now I know the next big question for this R12 is gonna be compatibility, say, for people that want to use their own wheels. Well, I am going to assist you guys in that aspect as well. Where's the top of this hill? I feel like we got to be getting close to the top. Just banging third gear. Oh, my hand slipped off. Got to be getting close to the top. We're not up the top here. We're going to probably uh, flip the car down. Nope. I think we've made it to the top. All right. So now for those that are wondering about compatibility with, say, out a Moza wheel, we're going to take the wheel off. We're going to bring out the 350 millimeter NRG innovations with the Moza quick release on it. I'm going to put that on there. And I can tell you my gears and everything still work without having a Moza wheel on it. So this should in theory work like the R5 and the R9s do, but you also have oh, that much more force feedback ability. So you can run bigger, heavier wheels and not really be uh, losing that much force feedback. So for a drifter, this is a awesome wheel. Because we do have the ability to run it without, you know, a most wheel on there if we wanted to. Oh no, we're gonna die. I thought we were gonna die, but we didn't die. So once again, a big thank you to both of racing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Quick look at the R12 on its release. So can't thank Moza Racing again enough for sending this stuff out to me. And we're going to be doing a lot more with this wheelbase here in the next coming weeks and stuff like that because, well, we got to fine tune some wheel settings. We got to get ready for other games and things, test this on other games, and see if we can't get some... Uh, very fine wheel settings. So as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'll leave the link for all the information on this wheel down in the description box below. If you want to pick one up yourself with the uh, referral code Evil Rabbit down there as well, make sure you go through that link if you want to pick one up. I'd appreciate the support. So as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track. Oh, that's a wall. Wall.